Noises Off is a, a very silly farce about a group of actors trying to put on a play and uh, trying to work out their personal lives at the same time. I think it's one of the most famous comedies there is um, and I certainly always wanted to be in it and um, so yeah I couldn't I couldn't wait to play Belinda and be part of this production. Actors who I know have been in the show before say it's murder to rehearse and it's a joy to play and they're absolutely right because it's such a technical masterpiece. It's like three-dimensional chess doing this. You have to go like this all at the same time. You can't believe how much your brain... There were days where we were just like... We were like little toddlers who couldn't take in any more information. At the end, it was just... It, it was extraordinary. Beautiful. It's a technically very, very difficult, but brilliant piece of... A masterpiece by yeah. Michael Frayn. Yeah. Absolutely, probably the, the best farce in the world ever. Uh, it's just extraordinary, and it's very difficult to do. Uh, I say that because of just <laughs> please come we and are but, but, we're, but, but it's but it's very it's 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 really uh, pleasing when you get it right. I saw this show about 15 years ago um, when I was all naive, and I remember watching it going, "One day I want to play Brooke in Noises Off." So when Jeremy asked me to do it, it was sort of a bit a, a bit like a dream come true. I was thrilled. Um, yeah, it's such a brilliant show. It's so much fun to do. It's quite tiring though. Um, you get quite sweaty. I'm hoping I might lose half a stone around Christmas, which would be nice. <laughs> yeah. I think it's uh, probably accessible to so such a huge audience. You know, it's yeah. not it's not elitist in any way at all. Although it's quite brilliantly written, it's uh, it's open to everybody. Yeah, there's in jokes and out jokes, if that makes sense. Everybody can get it. As an actor, there's stuff in there that um, exploring it for the second time when being in it. I was like, there's gags in here that I didn't clock. It's so layered. I think you could see it five or six times and every time you'd clock something completely different and just as satisfying, don't you think? Yeah, that's right. And uh, everybody likes daft. We all love daft. I just think the play is one of the funniest I've read and uh, the, the role itself is just a real gift. There's a lot of physical comedy and I really love hurling myself about and falling over, basically. It's really satisfying actually seeing an audience just laugh laugh in tears and it's, yeah, it's absolutely incredible to see and you yeah you come out for the, the curtain call and you just see people exhausted just from from the, from laughing I think the most powerful part of this yes everybody laughs and everybody laughs quite hysterically towards the end of this play but I just think it's the collective experience that absolute joy of sitting in an auditorium with 700 other people and you and you you get infected by another person's laughter as well. You see the joke through another person's perspective while you're sitting there. So it's like, we, I love watching comedy films, etc., etc., at home on the DVD or, or if you stream it, but there's something about just being surrounded by other folk who are laughing their socks off. It's a beautiful feeling. I think we need noises off back on the West End because the world is a pretty miserable place at the moment and I think people need cheered up and I think this show just does that so beautifully. So yeah, if you want to laugh, if you want to forget about Brexit, come and see the show, I'd say.